Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Bedtime Stories with Yash where I Yash Sharma reads you two new stories every single evening. So today I've got for you two bear stories. The first one is the very brave bear and the second one is the very cranky bear. So before we start with today's session I'd like to request each one of you if you've not subscribed to the YouTube channel please do so by clicking on the subscribe button under the video. Also I've posted the Facebook and Instagram links to the school's uh, social media pages in the description as well. So please go there follow those pages and support the school. Thank you so much. Now let's begin with today's first story for the evening. We'll start with the very brave bear in the jingle jangle jungle on the edge of slimy bog. Bear was picking berries from a very wobbly log. So bear was standing on a wobbly log and trying to pick up berries and he was standing on the edge of a swamp a swamp is a dirty sludgy sort of a water body ahoy said boris buffalo from underneath the mud and bear fell off his wobbly log and landed with a thud so ahoy said boris the buffalo isn't he cute I didn't mean to scare you said Boris with a grin I only came to ask you if you wanted to come in So Boris the buffalo says I didn't mean to scare you I only wanted to ask you if you wanted to come in I wasn't even scared said the bear I'm just as brave as you the bravest thing that you can do I can do it too So he balanced like a butterfly upon the wobbly log He did a double somersault and splashed in slimy bog. So bear says I wasn't even scared. I'm I'm just as brave as you and the bravest thing that you can do I can do it too. So he somersaulted into the slimy bog. Somersault meaning uh, have you seen that game Contra when you were small? So there was this game contra where the soldiers used to do a double somersault they used to spin in the air two times and they used to uh, fall in the water or they used to land on land again so that's called a double somersault If you are so brave continued bear then come and follow me we'll see how brave a buffalo is when climbing up a tree So <laughs> so bear and buffalo are now getting into a competition So bear climbed up a mighty tree the tallest he could find and there was Boris buffalo climbing right behind So Boris and uh, the bear were climbing up on the tallest tree that they could find That was easy said Boris and what a pleasant view but I can think of something else that you'd be scared to do So Boris said, "Ha, huh, that was easy. I could do it so easily. And what a pleasant view it is. But I can think of something else that you you might be scared to do." Boris wandered up a hill, the steepest he could find, then tumbled down the other side, and bear was right behind. "That was easy," boasted the bear. "I'm just as brave as you." but i can think of something else that you'd be scared to do so boris wandered up the steepest hill that he could find and bear was coming right behind they crossed a raging river and they swung between the trees they tried to catch a porcupine and wear a beard of bees so they tried to catch a porcupine and they also wore a beard of bees Bear and Boris Buffalo were the bravest of the brave until that is they came across a very scary cave so this is the picture of Boris and the bear trying to catch a porcupine and this is them wearing a beard of bees and this is the very scary cave it's awfully dark inside said Boris It's quiet too said bear then with his softest voice he said is anybody there maybe we should wait said boris until we know for sure and then from in the cave there came a very scary roar 
Bear and Boris Buffalo had never been so scared. They decided not to go inside and ran away instead. So Bear and Boris the Buffalo were very scared. They'd never been so scared in their entire life. They decided not to go inside and ran away instead. They hurried through the jungle and they hid in slimy bog. And then from in the cave there came a tiny little frog. See, a tiny little cute frog. I didn't mean to scare you, said Froggy with a grin. I only came to ask you if you wanted to come in. So Bear and Boris Buffalo went back to Froggy's cave and agreed that bears and buffaloes are equally as brave. So this is Boris and the bear and the froggy drinking nice hot tea in the cave of the little frog. So let me know in the comments down below how you like this story. Do you think you are as brave as Boris the buffalo and the bear? Let me know. And let's begin with the second story for the evening. The Very Cranky Bear So this is also a story written by Nick Bland. In the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep, well, sheep was plain. So in the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends were finding a perfect place to play. So the friends were Moose, uh, who had marvelous antlers. So this is the moose who has marvelous antlers. Antlers are big horns that the moose has. Lion, a golden mane. So the second friend was lion who had a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes. So the zebra had stripes and sheep, well, she was plain. So sheep always used to feel that, oh, I'm so plain. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear. So four friends were playing cards sitting in that cave. And they did not notice that there was someone else also in the cave who was sleeping. Roar! Went the cranky bear. Roar! 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 He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So Roar, the bear, was very angry. He gnashed his teeth. That means he did that. And stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So in the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends had nowhere warm to play. So the bear... He, you know, pushed everyone out of the door because he was trying to sleep. And those four friends who had got a fine, nice place, a warm place to uh, sit and play in the cold, cold, rainy weather, they didn't have that place any longer. Wait a minute, said Zebra, as she scratched her furry chin. Hmm, now Zebra is up to something. Let's see what she's saying. Maybe if we cheered him up, he'd let us come back in. So that's a good idea. Maybe if we could chair the bear up, I think he can let us back in. If I did not have stripes, said Zebra, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. Yes, that's what we should do. So the zebra suggests that if I did not have any stripes, I would be cranky too. So I think we should give the bear some stripes. Stripes are silly, the moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up, so let's give that bear a pair. Stripes are silly, says the moose. Now the moose is saying that my antlers are superior than your stripes. My antlers are better than your stripes. Okay, so your stripes are silly, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up and give, let's give that bear a pair. So the moose suggests that we should give a pair of antlers to the bear. No, 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 said lion. Antlers are a boar. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. No, 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 no. The lion said that all of your antlers and all of your stripes are boar. 
a golden mane like mine will cheer him up for sure so the zebra fetched a tin of mud and lion some grass of gold moose got two big branches and sheep well she got cold so the lion uh, found some golden grass and the zebra found a pail of mud and the moose found some antlers fake antlers made out of the sticks branches of a tree and the sheep could did not find anything because she did not suggest anything so she didn't find anything and she was just waiting outside the door of the cave sheep was getting worried they've been eaten up for sure and then from in the cave there came a very cranky roar <laughs> so zebra lion and moose ran out and bear was right behind them they hid behind the bushes where they hoped they wouldn't find him so <laughs> so the bear said roar and zebra lion and moose ran out and the bear was right behind them they hid behind the bushes where they hoped he wouldn't find them why is he still cranky he's got antlers stripes and a mane before we gave him those the lion said he looks so very plain so before he had the uh, before he had those antlers the golden mane and the stripes the bear looked so plain so the lion is wondering why why is he he's so cranky as bear stormed back inside the cave he turned and roared at sheep all i really want he said is a quiet place to sleep so this is the bear speaking to the sheep he says all that i really want is a quiet place to sleep so she fetched a pair of clippers and she clipped off half her wool she stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full so the sheep fetched a pair of scissors and she clipped off half her wool and then she stuffed it in a cotton bag and tried to make a pillow out of it she tiptoed back inside the cave excuse me bear she said would you like a pillow for underneath your head so the sheep uh, tiptoed inside the cave that means she walked inside the cave and now she's asking the bear if he'd like a pillow for underneath his head well thank you very much said bear and soon he fell asleep maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sleep okay so this is the bear sleeping inside the cave happily and then the sheep the lion the antler uh, the moose and the zebra are playing their game inside sleeping over there maybe just maybe the bear was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep so out of these three other uh, friends the sheep was the only one who was really thoughtful who could really understand what was the need of the hour what was the need of the bear and she clipped her wool and made a pillow for him how thoughtful was that so let me know down in the comments below if you've done something nice for your friends or for your family in this lockdown okay and i'll see you in the with the next story in the next episode of bedtime stories with yash bye bye